Hello, good morning, year four. I'm back with another maths lesson. So in our starter activity, this is Kathy. She went to England and she had 278 pounds. She spent 125 for a nice dress as a gift for her mom in England. How much money she has now? So let me remind you that pounds is the currency that is used in England or United Kingdom. So uh, when we are trying to talk about remaining money, what we do is that we try to subtract the numbers that we have. So she had 278 pounds and she will subtract the amount which she spent on buying a dress for her mom. So we are going to uh, write our numbers on top of each other in columns. And then we are going to perform the subtraction. So we are going to start from the right hand side. So eight minus five is three. So we are going to write three below eight and five. Seven minus two is five. So we are going to write five next to it. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So the leftover money she has is 153. Right. So this is how we calculate the remaining money by using subtraction. Okay. So subtracting decimal is our topic for today. The learning objective for today's lesson is that by the end, you should be able to subtract decimal numbers up to two decimal places or find the remaining amount of money. Apply the concept of subtracting money using decimal numbers in solving real life problems. These are the vocabulary words that we are going to use throughout the lesson. So the first one is subtract. Subtract is an arithmetic operation when we are trying to uh, take away one amount from the other. We are going to use money to uh, perform subtraction. Now, take away and left over are another words for the same arithmetic operation, subtract. And we are going to use these words. So these are the key words that you have to look when in a word problem. This will tell you that you have to perform subtraction. Then we have a word dollar. Dollar is also an amount or the currency that is used in the United States of America. And we are quite familiar with fills and dinars, which are used widely here in Bahrain. Right, let's move on. So steps in subtracting decimal. The first step is that when subtracting decimal, you must always line up the decimal point and write the bigger number on top. For example, uh, we have a number 4.96 and we are subtracting 4.13 from it. So we are going to start from 6 and 3 from the right side always. 6 minus 3 is 3. Then 9 minus 1 is 8. And then we have 4 minus 4 which is 0. Now how would you, you would know that which number is bigger? Now, in our previous lesson, when we were trying to order and compare the um, decimal points, we first looked at the whole numbers. So if the whole numbers are same, we moved on to tens. So nine is clearly bigger than one. That's why 4.96 is a bigger number as compared to 4.13. Right, let's move on to the next slide. So the step number two in subtraction of decimals is that if a decimal point is not included in the number, remember to put the zeros after the decimal point. For example, if we are subtracting these two amounts and 14 has no decimal point, then we are going to put the placeholder zeros. Okay, to, and we should put as many zeros as the other number. So if the other number has two decimal places, we are going to add two zeros and then we are going to perform the subtraction. Again, we are going to start from the uh, right hand side. Okay, so nine minus zero is nine. Eight minus zero is eight. Then eight minus four is four and seven minus one is six. So our answer is 64.89. 
Now let's subtract some Bahraini dinars. So this is BD 7.350 and we are going to subtract BD 5. First we are going to put the placeholder zeros like this and then we are going to subtract starting from the right side. So zeros first, 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 0 is 5, 3 minus 0 is 3 and then 7 minus 5 is 2. So clearly this was very simple, start from the right and keep on subtracting. Okay, let's move on. Now can you subtract these numbers from the amounts given? So remember, if the uh, decimal points are not included, you have to include the placeholder zeros. For example, over here you are going to put two zeros. Okay, like this. But okay, these are quite small. You make sure that you are putting the right amount and right like this so that you're not confused about where to subtract okay so uh, remember the rules start from the right side okay for example over here 2 minus 0 is 0 8 minus 0 is 8 and then 6 minus 4 is 2 and you're going to put the decimal point exactly below the decimal point above in this way, you can perform all the subtraction. Pause my video here and resume when you are done. Make sure that your subtraction is correct. Right, let's move on. Okay, so let's try to solve a real world problem. So this is in dollars. So I had $99.99. I bought a pack of rice for $35.5. How much money is left after the purchase? Now remember to underline the important words and numbers to help you. So what are the important words? How much money is left? And what are the numbers 99.99 and 35.5? So I know that I have to perform subtraction. Okay, and the numbers are already given. So I am going to write my numbers by making sure that the decimal points are lined up like this. If a zero is missing, I will put the placeholder zero. I will start from the right side and I will start subtracting. Nine minus zero is nine. Nine minus five is four. Nine minus five is four again. And nine minus three is six. So the amount of money I have left is $64.49. Right. Now what about this? This is a link to Bahrain also. Um, I had PD 550.750. And I bought a bike for BD 40. How much money I have now? So clearly, we go to shops here in Bahrain and sometimes... We buy things which are worth BD40, even if it's not a bike. Maybe it's something related to your room, like a study table. Or maybe it's a scooter. Or maybe it's something you like, for example, some books. So this is something that we do um, quite often in our daily lives. So how do you calculate the leftover money? First, you are going to write down the numbers on top of each other and you will line up the decimal point. Now, 40 is without a decimal number. So, we are going to put the placeholder zeros. Then, we are going to start subtraction from the right side. So, 750 will come as is because it is not subtracting any number. Then 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 5 will come down as is. So the leftover money I have is BD 510.150. Now this is an independent practice. You will start from question number 1, then move on to question 2, and then you will do the question number 3. So question 1 is simple subtraction, and for your ease, it is already written in the grid. For question number two, you have, your, you have to make your own grid and try performing the subtraction. 
Remember to put the bigger number on top and line up the decimal points. If a zero is missing, you have to put a placeholder zero. And then you will try to solve the uh, word problem. Remember to look out for the keywords. For example, leftover, take away, subtract, you know, uh, things like that. So I hope that you do it correct and you line up the numbers correctly and perform the subtraction easily. Let's assess a learning objectives. So we were able to subtract decimal numbers up to two decimal places or find the remaining amount of money. And you were able to apply the concept of subtracting money using decimal numbers in solving real life problems. And in the end, I would like you to think about the reflection. So what exactly did you learn? Do you have a question in your mind? So take the exit ticket. And if you have any confusions or doubts, don't hesitate to write it to me. Well, with this, we come to an end with our lesson. I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you next time with another recorded lesson. Take care and bye-bye.